Hi friends. So we have news coming out of the view. Well, it's actually not news, but it's sending the internet on fire. What's the what's the situation? Let's talk about it. It's time for guess what? My current TV. <music> drama two days into the new year on the view between surprise surprise joy behar and megan mccain so the fight started during hot topics while they're talking about um the fraction of the republican party and how joy behar is saying there's a fraction between the republicans and the seditionists or the trumpers and you know she was listing down her ideas and her thoughts and her feelings whatever and megan intervenes and interrupts and it's like that's not true this you know these republic democrats are feeling this these democrats are feeling that aoc and the squad and bernie sanders first and foremost bernie sanders is not a democrat he is an independent who caucuses with democrats and joy's like i'm talking i'm still talking and megan's like oh you missed this didn't you and she's like well i didn't miss you at all take a look at this video and we'll come back to the rest of our commentary Politics. The Republican Party is in much more trouble right now because Are you, you have really me? traitors. You have AOC saying you she's have, going excuse to me, am I done? I'm Schumer. not done. Well, it's just that's completely inaccurate. You have AOC fighting right now about whether or not she's going to end up primarying Chuck Schumer, coming out not saying she has the full support of, of Nancy yes. Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. You have the squad that's coming out very intensely, very angry that Biden hasn't filled his cabinet with more progressives. Bernie Sanders also coming out saying he's angry. The idea that there isn't fighting so you, within the they, Democratic Party speaking. as well. I, I know I what was you're talking. Saying. Right. I'm talking about. I'm talking okay. about somebody so much. Yeah. Joy, you Traitors. missed me so much when I was on maternity leave. You missed me so much. You missed fighting with me. Don't I did not. You miss fighting I did not miss you. <laughs> okay. I, somebody, oh let somebody answer <laughs> the question. You saw the comments you saw what joy said you saw what the internet has said the internet overwhelmingly does not like megan mccain and you know for me confession i've been watching the view since 2007 i'm a huge view fan i've been trying to go to the show i actually got tickets a couple times but i couldn't make it um i love the view i find this very very fascinating since especially when i look at the politics most of the women in me don't align politically, and I'm also not a woman. So I find it fascinating for them to have the kind of conversations that they have, especially since they involve politics now more so than pop culture, pop culture like it was in the beginning during the Meredith years. Um, but ever since Megan came onto the show, and I know she's a conservative, I know she has a na name brand recognition, she's a Republican, I have not liked her. I've not enjoyed her. I've seen her you know, on things before. I've seen her on Bill Maher. I've seen her on Rachel Maddow. I've seen her on The View as a guest. And she was perfectly lovely. She, the Young Turks. She was perfectly lovely. She was perfectly great. She was, you know, respectful and nice. 
And ever since she came on, I don't know if it's the stress of her father at the time dying, then her father actually, you know, passing away, then her miscarriage, where she's just never really pleasant. <laughs> and I understand this is the show, and it's like, you know, it's all about ratings and drama, but a lot of fans are over that. Like, when they had Jedediah on, who Jed... I like full disclosure. Jedediah, I don't agree with her politics either. Quite frankly, I find him to be a bit of a hack sometimes. But I enjoyed Jedediah Bila on The View, and I was so disappointed when they got rid of her and replaced her with Meghan McCain. I thought she was the best Republican they had in a long time. That's what the requirements are. Republican, intelligent, cool. Jedediah was my pick. But back to Meghan McCain. She, she's rude. She's dismissive. She interrupts all the time. She throws tantrums. She speaks of privilege well understand that she acts like she's privileged she has that idea of stolen valor where by virtue of her being john mccain's daughter she is somehow important or she's somehow an expert yes your father ran for office yes you were there while you ran for office does that mean that you are a political expert because quite frankly you're not you're just not you have never taken a political science class you have never you know actually ran a campaign so i wouldn't talk to you about being an expert in politics like you're not to politics what Sonia Hostin is to the law you don't really have any real experience in politics other than the fact that your father was your in now that being said there are some times you know I enjoy Meghan McCain there are times where I agree with what she says like yesterday when she was talking about um Hilaria Baldwin I thought she was on the money and she bodied that segment but Meghan McCain has her good moments and she has like a bunch of bad moments and it's like look sweetheart we need you to chill. We need you to relax. Like Sherry said, lighten up. Because honestly, like, it may not be your intention. I don't know your heart. But I know what it comes like to me is that I see a lot of... What's the term? Combativeness. You're very, very combative. very, very defensive. And you're not giving the women a chance to speak. So... That's it. Like, I I love The View. Quite frankly, I used to like Meghan McCain quite a bit. I used to be a fan of hers. You know, I felt as her to be a very respectable Republican lady. But I do not enjoy her on this show. So tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me what you think. Call it to me in the comments. Would you be tired of Meghan McCain too? Would you think Joy was out of line? Let me know.